Headlight on. Right, how does this sound? I've just spent the last half hour. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Transplanting the uh, camera from my white commuting Shoei to the silver XI900 Shoei, which I bought when I had my first CB1300 Super 4. Yeah, there wasn't room for you, all of it. Uh, I'm wondering if it's hissing. I've cleaned the connections, but bloody hell, the microphone lee must have been four foot long, so it's all stuffed in. Although it was a very cheap one, it was only $5.99. Yeah, that rum's pulling away from me. <laughs> like I said, this is the test of this helmet and the microphone wiring. If it's still hissing and crap, I'll send for another microphone. You can pay a lot of money, can't you? When you look online at proper Lavalier type tie clip microphones, you can pay 40, 50, 60 and more quid, but my were <laughs> 5.99. And I'm also bedding the front brakes in. Front brakes are full on now. And, uh, yeah, they are going to take some bedding in. I wonder if I've got any WD-40 on the bloody discs. That won't help matches, will it? Front brake. We'll soon bed in. Still worried about what the V-shape was on the left disc. Or was it like I said, one piston wasn't coming out properly, so therefore it was distorting the pressure on the disc. And cutting into the pad what well, well, to make it V-shaped and then the opposite is shaped the other way. Put them together and they look straight. Tell the difference in quality, bloody hell, you can't hear wind noise in this XI900. Proper shoey, whereas the other one was a cheap and nasty white thing. It's quite tight fitting around the face as well, plenty of padding. It being a bag of money, I could only scrabble. See, that could have been dicey, couldn't it? I'll pull into this lay by. It's like an article of clothing, it's not a bag of money. <laughs> I think the camera might be pointing down too much. 
good thing about this helmet, it's got one of them little tabs you can wedge open for misty mornings. get some trainers It's a shoe bag in it, Adidas. Oh. Ooh, some kind of football kit. Looks like it needs a wash. <laughs> I could put it on Facebook, but I don't, don't know anybody. So we past them present. Maybe that Facebook page, but they don't allow photos. Miserable sods. That's unusual. A fence down there. Same private property. We're obsessed. You think we're all after poaching fish? Very unusual. Yeah, the strap, I mean the main strap that holds it under your chin is quite strong, but the actual leatherette is all breaking up. Look at that, how would you have a fence down there? Or a gate rather. It's biting a bit now. A few more long breaking sessions and it'll be right, be bedded in. I'll go down into Wally, I think. Let's see what the night life's like down there. front brake so look at a nice view if the camera angles right I think I will need to tilt it up a little
should be testing the microphones, shouldn't I? Hello, hello, one, two, three, testing, testing, hello. Is the bloody thing hissing again with a four foot long lead? Like I said, you can have them custom made to just a foot long, and this chap was also selling, uh, what do you call them, twin separate left and right channel microphones as well, and I think I was to get one, but it said prices from $24.99. And the idea was, put one in your helmet and then put one under the seat to pick up both engine noise and your voice. Although I think maybe <laughs> the engine noise would drown out your voice, wouldn't it? Not necessarily under the seat, just near the engine. But you pick up lots of wind noise as well, so maybe it's not worth faffing about with. So, testing, testing. The reduction of wind noise would be a big plus. Plus the comfy, you're always a comfy element at least. Why have I left it on the shelf collecting dust? It was a W Reg me CB1300 Super 4, the first silver one I got. So I think that was 2001, but it was about 2003 when I got it. It's only done 5,500 miles. And then I saw the X4, fell in love with it. And did a trade in and decided it wasn't very comfortable so then he got the red and black super for him which were gorgeous so I swapped it for that did a trade in lost a few hundred pound each time though hey are there any cameras around here yeah I thought I'd have a run through Clitheroe see how packed the pubs are Like I said, I should be accelerating then gently braking to bed them in nice and slowly. Oh yeah, they're biting nicely now. Yes, yeah, so I've got my headlights on Albert. My night breaker. I should come here tomorrow, there's one of them pets at home. I didn't go today because I bought that stuff from b and I need to try some more flea treatments for poor ginger. Yeah, let this car go a little bit. It's going a bit quick. thinking if this helmet uh, microphone's okay I've, I've adjusted the volume ages ago slightly louder and like I keep saying and like a lot of vloggers say it's a very fine balance either the vocals are too quiet but it's okay at high speed but if it's too sensitive it actually picks up wind noise and crackles and other people have done that as well for some reason but with this good insulation this has, a good foam, that might not be a problem, so I could leave it at this volume. Testing volume! Testing volume! Testing volume! And if I just talk quietly, is it picking that up alright while on the move? And I could wear this because it's a good quality one, a good shoey. Despite its age, it's a lot better than a bloody £40 What's it called? I've forgotten the bloody name Oh, Nitro, no, my blue one is a Nitro Purely because it was blue I was after a shoey, because shoey did a nice metallic blue But they stopped making it And then there was a Neotech and some else tech You know, the um, flip up and that was also no longer available. Available in America, of course, but not over here. And that's pets at home. <clears throat> yeah, a big 
Maybe she does that mill get at night. The Holmes Mill to the go past. So it'd be full of hooligans sat outside smoking. I could always go down there and then emerge at the brown camp. Now I smell the food. I'm afraid that chicken wasn't up to much. It's a road. You can blink and miss it, shiny little road. Yep, throngs of people and lots of girls in flimsy clothes. Look at that, a big pot on. So what do you think, too low? Well, if it's pointing at the bloody road all the way for the past eight miles. I'll just go round the town and then back same way, I think, via Worley. I should have a, yeah, no, I'll do a blast on the A59. Is that that way for St Paul knows? My mate Paul. You know, there's a young waitress here in Clitheroe at that place. Yeah, man, yeah. That's what drunks do, get all touchy feely. Should have been, see? Eh? Don't say they have door stuff on at night, my god. Somebody said that when I used to work in Clitheroe. I said, oh, I'd love to live here. I'm looking to look for a house in Clitheroe. Are you joking? It's a bloody dump. Why do you think they have bounces on uh, normal pubs? It's full of hooligans. I said, surely not. <laughs> and that looked like a doorman, didn't it? Unless he's just in fancy dress. <laughs> yeah, 59, cobblers to Wally. test at speed on to see about that crackling we were about to eat like I said them bloody chicken thighs weren't very filling I gave the cats most of the skin a bit disconcerting isn't it when you see stubs of feathers on the skin you thought well do I eat it or do I give it to the cats so I'm afraid the cats had most of it. Although I'm on a diet. with this new posh estate. And yeah, only for sale already. Are they being lived in already? Let's have a look. to get across because it's uh, still under construction.
Yeah, nice, but they're executive homes, aren't they? You have to be careful here because these are the type of places where you'll find lots of bloody nails and things on the floor and screws. Nice stone wall, that. New executive homes from about 180 to 230,000 pound, I expect. Taylor Wimpy. Reassuring clunk rather than that cheap and nasty thing. Well, A fifty nine deserted. to move back down again I just uh, used to twist it 20 mil so it drops back 10 mil and then it's sort of right I know I could go but you never know if they're gonna pull into this lane like that that's what I do on way to work and it's a mistake you meant to stick in your lane until it's safe to uh, to pull into the left lane Could be another one full of nails and stuff. Yes, here we are again at the old familiar fishing lake or ex fishing lake. Yeah, I should check my back tire as well, I think, for foreign objects. Because, yeah, I tell you, I found a load of bloody nails in my back, uh, back street. From a Pakistani builder that's been doing some building work. And decided to dump all his crap in the back street. I reported it to the council, but it's still there. Well, you know, it's a tidy up after themselves. Uh, but I should touch them and see if they're binding on. Ah, okay, how many are hot? Hmm. Does that mean binding or because I've uh, been breaking? Can't be binding. Or was it because I didn't rotate them, like I said? The pistons, I just moved them in and out and rubbed them with a toothbrush and solvent. Mm. I 
I'll go home and review the situation. I could always do a proper job sometime. If we get too hot though, there's a risk of them bloody jamming on like they did once on the way to work. and then releasing you feel all right so you must mustn't be ripping too tightly yeah, let's go down here to country lane it comes out in Warley Sorry Albert, I did cut that corner rather. This comes out of that uh, Tudor looking house which is actually a bit more modern than you might think. So Oh, this is a new wine bar. They're all meant to be a uh, higher class of clientele in Warley and Clitheroe, but I've always uh, thought that was rather an exaggeration. Hmm, very nice. Can't smell a draft. Some girls have so much perfume on you can smell the draft they make as you breeze past. Let's get on. I could go to that Chinese and cheekily say, as I mended your window, all I did was force the lock. Like I said, I think they're designed to break, not because uh, they allow burglars in, but I mean, in case of fire, and it's too dark or too smoky to find a key. If you give them a sharp tug or even a gen apply a gentle pressure and build the pressure up, ping, it pings the lock. So the window's fully lockable again. They had put some silver tape up over winter to stop the draft and now the charge is a drum. I pay you, I said no, you're alright. I didn't use that handle I bought, did I? No, I'm not the type of person to take advantage. Very polite people, the Chinese. I know you can't generalise, but uh you don't hear them stabbing people, do you? Or dealing drugs? You know what I mean?
slowing down very quick that suggests it is binding on soon find out and we get all my for the turn purple Feels a bit sluggish. Oh, the poor riding with a dodgy exhaust hasn't asked anything up. Like valves or anything. Like I said, I'm no expert, I'm clueless with anything to do with the actual engine, but uh, it doesn't have that oomph it used to have. So, is that, does that mean the brakes are binding on? Via the town centre, we'll be turning left here. Oh no. <laughs> Reason I say that, I think he lives on my street. Is he going the roundabout route as well? And this is two people with an old 4x4 like that. Well, I'll review it before uploading it. I'll put it on my VLC and see how it's turned out. Bye for now.